let's start with um, with Freya um, because it was July 2016 that you noticed a cough. Yes, um, Freya had a cough for a couple of days. We basically thought it was turning into some kind of chest infection. So we went to uh, the doctors um, who then just referred us over to the hospital. Um, we actually thought that we would be going home. They were just chest... We thought we'd just get some antibiotics yeah. and then the antibiotics were, and then we will be going home. What did it turn out to be? Um, they, they, they just took us into a room um, that evening and they just took me into a room and there was a lot of consultants and doctors in there, which was a bit scary. Um, and then just basically said that, um, out of the blue, that they, on the x-ray, that they had found um, cancer. My goodness and me. it obviously hot just stopped um, yeah. and then obviously the rest is that's been uh, our life since. The rest is gruelling yeah. treatment isn't yeah. it? Yeah constantly um, then straight away it was non you know straight away we got we were in one hospital then we had to go to um, the Birmingham Children's Hospital didn't we? Yeah. And we went to Birmingham Children's Hospital and then it was um, the start of the journey, so to speak. And um, and the treatment that she that she received, um, one. I mean, you say her strength actually throughout all of her treatment oh, was incredible, great. and that helped Amazing. you cope and be able to get through it. Wonderful. But the only moment that you had a bit of a wobble was when you were having the treatment. You started to lose your hair, and that was mm. the first time that you you actually felt that this was unfair and that you didn't, you didn't like that, did you? No. No, OK. And so how did you hear about this wonderful charity, the Little Princess Trust? Oh. There was a contact, actually, through the hospital who, who actually put us in contact. Um, and they are, they're fantastic. They, they come to the hospital beds as well and they yeah. can fit them at the hospital beds sometimes. Um, Freya wasn't well at all at the time. Mm. Um, we got fitted and it was quite hard for you at the time, but as soon as she started to feel a little bit better, they got it cut in. Um, and because uh, her confidence totally goes, yeah. the hair's gone, there's remarks made, there's a lot of staring, obviously, as you walk about. Um, and then all of a sudden, it just gave her that confidence just to kind of face the world again. Yeah. Well, you, um, you absolutely love um, princesses. Yes. And, uh, and Frozen is your favourite film. And uh, and uh, it was uh, Elsa that you wanted to, uh, to to look like. So I mean, you, mm. when you, when you got your hair, did you did you plait it? Yeah, did oh, you? lovely. And they did, did it in Elsa plait, didn't did they? Did you? I think we've got a picture of it. Yeah, actually. I think we do. Yeah. Let's have a look. <gasps> look. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And so the big question is, how how is Freya now? How is she doing? Um, we've still got about another year to left the treatment to do because yeah. it's two and a half years. Um, the first um, nine months was, uh, it's very intense, gruelling, mm. um, and you're in hospital um, most of the time. Mm. We've missed most of school, haven't we? Um, but then now, it's it's just still the roller coaster of life. Yeah. You have your ups and downs, but we're more of an outpatient. And your hair's now. growing back. Yeah. And it's coming. It, it she lost it gorgeous. twice. <laughs> it does. But it's, it's coming back great. And 